Hello, we're in the Shetland Islands this evening with the amphibious version of the Kodiak from Simworks Studios. This came out a few days ago. I've only just got around to actually flying it. I bought it a couple of days ago. Um, it's very good value for money. If you previously owned the Kodiak, there's a discount code that they send you and that gets you about a third of the price off of the aircraft. But even given that, it's still very good value anyway. So as you can see, it's modelled wonderfully. I, by the way, I've turned the weather off because it's a howling gale at the time of recording in the Shetland Islands, which would make it incredibly unsafe to fly at all, let alone to you know to have a look at an aeroplane. So you can see, you know, the the modelling is as you would expect from Simworks Studios. It's absolutely brilliant, and the the new uh, the floats are wonderfully modelled too. So they've done quite a lot of work as far as I understand with the water handling. I'm obviously no expert so I have to take it as read that they have. So let's go and jump inside the aeroplane. We're going to fly from Walsay over to Outskerries. So if you're wondering where we are, we're off the north coast of Scotland. So there's Scotland, there's the Orkney Islands and then you've got the Shetland Islands over here. So we're going to fly between these two islands. They're very close to each other, so it'll be a very short flight. But we just want to have a play with the aeroplane, really. OK, how do we get the Kodiak fired up? I haven't done this for a very long time, so you're going to have to forgive me for any mistakes I make. So first thing we have to look for, I seem to remember, is that all these levers are pulled back, otherwise we will blow the engine. So we go and unlock the fuel shut-off valves overhead, and we let go of the plunger down here. We need to turn the master power on and because we are going to turn the um, the engine over we're going to turn the beacon lights on to warn anybody outside. Obviously in the real world you would shout out the window at this point clear. Okay we'll go and hit the button over here to boot up the second screen over here. H AHR is line, keep the wings level. Yes well we can't really bank them can we? We're on the ground. While we're waiting for that to boot up, let's just go and make sure that we've got good movement of the control surfaces. It looks good to me. So we're going to look inside. OK. So what do we do to fire up the engine? Let's see if I can remember this stuff. First thing we do is put the fuel pump on. OK. And then we hit the starter. And then once the starter has been going around for a while, we can move the fuel to low idle. Actually, I believe we can move the propellers already. I can't remember the numbers we're waiting for here, but I'm going to go and do it anyway. So we're going to move the mixture to... OK. Just making sure what my levers are doing on my throttles there. Okay, so the pump can now come off, and so can the starter. So engine is running. Go to high idle. We can push the propeller condition all the way forwards. And we're essentially ready to fly at this point, but we just need to go and do some things like turning the lights on. Uh, don't need taxi lights, we're going to roll straight onto the runway. So we'll put the landing lights on so we can see where we're going. It's quite dark outside. Um, put the beta heat on, and we're getting a generator fail, obviously, because it's not on an alternator fail, so that's both done. Okay, so let's just go and have a fly. I'm probably not doing things absolutely correctly here. I'm following my nose and following memory, really. A very ropey memory, I have to say. So let's see the general direction we need to go. So about 60 degrees then. We can measure that on the map actually. So if we go measure distance, yeah, it's about 60 degrees over to our scaries. Okay, so it flaps the takeoff position. Wheel brakes off. So at the moment, we are on the wheels. So we're going to ease the throttle forwards. Throttle. Let's hope we've got enough runway to get airborne. So 60 knots. Let's use all of the runway. And gently rotate. There we go. Okay. 
go. And gear up. We obviously heard an annunciation coming through there that was going to warn us about something. So let's see how this looks from outside. So the wheels have been lifted and retracted at the front. And let's go and turn this aeroplane around to 60 degrees. islands over here and then we're going to try and figure out our approach into a quite a hazardous little airport but we're going to land on the water first because obviously that's the party trick of this aircraft so we're coming to the bay here in between the islands does it have a name I wonder let's have a look so we're coming towards... Let's turn off this centering on this on that map before it annoys the... Annoys us incredibly. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't actually have a name, but we'll try and... We'll try and actually come in towards where the runway is that we will be approaching in the air. But we'll try and land and taxi past it on the water, which might be fun. It's a shame in these weather conditions you're seeing the tiles in the water often it does a very good job of hiding those. It kind of gives the game away of how the simulator is doing the water texture. So something I have noticed straight away is it's quite nose heavy without flaps, obviously with the weight of the, uh, the, the floats. So I've just put the first stage of flaps on, because we're only doing 120 knots. So I know for a fact Outskerries is modelled wonderfully. So you're going to notice that as we come past some of these rock formations, they all you know they look like a photograph, don't they? It's quite stunning really. over the top. Let's go and look from outside. I have to shout while we're out here. I'm only running at 50% power, just enough to, to stay airborne. Just, you have to be careful with the Kodiak when you get to about 70 knots. If you give it a lot of throttle, the torque from the engine will spin the aircraft and it will drop a wing. Okay. So you're going to see why we came here now. So we're going to land on this tiny little runway, which is just over here. I think. But before we do that, we'll come in here with the obviously using the abilities of this aeroplane and land on the water down through the middle and come down to the village. triggers her to say that. It's obviously speed related I guess. Yeah I've noticed if you pull the throttle back to idle and you have no thrust over the elevators it becomes incredibly nose heavy. Water landing. Gear is 
up for water landing. Water landing, gear is up for okay, water it's landing. Okay, it's altitude related. Water landing, gear is up for water landing. 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 Water landing. Okay, she's annoying me now. I don't know how to turn her off, but I do know there's a breaker over here. Which we can shut her up. So we can press CTRL and W, which drops the rudders in, and then we get very good control over steering, which is good. We can also obviously reverse thrust in the, um, or reverse pitch I should say, in the Kodiak. So we have very good control to be able to go into small areas otherwise would be impossible. Fun, isn't it? It's a shame there's no jetty that we could come and pull up next to with the wing overhanging. Unless we can get in next to the fishing boat. Is there room on the other side maybe? No, there's no low jetties are there? That's interesting look. It took the propeller a little while then. Even the lights are lighting up the, the rocks. They're going full reverse. It's interesting to try these things out, isn't it? To see how we navigate. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get out of here. I might have to actually put the wheels down. That solved it. Obviously the thrust over the tail is solving that for us. So it's still not perfect. You can see we had trouble there getting the plane to react in tight spaces. But we'll go back out to the sea. We'll go up this way through the rocks this time. And then we'll take off and we'll come back and land on the wheels on the small runway. Okay, so we need to put the flaps down, ready for takeoff. get our bearings on the runway. We'll sit down in the cockpit. So we'll 
give ourselves a little bit of room to manoeuvre on the way in. So let's go and have a look while we're just manoeuvring at what happens when we put the wheels down. Rudders back up. Okay, so we're going to keep an eye out for the runway. The overcast clouds really aren't helping us with spotting the runway. We know it's over here. might take a couple of approaches to get this right. So past the lighthouse, over the top of the hill, and then onto the runway. Need to sit up. There goes the lighthouse just below us. Skim the top of the the grass on top of the rocks here. And we have to keep positive thrust to be able to hold the nose up. to stop look without using reverse pitch which we had at our disposal but we didn't actually need it but he says as he just engages it to bring us to a stop so there we go just roll out to the parking area on the grass over here Again. It will not move. Well, it's, it's just moved. So yeah, there are a few issues with it, with manoeuvring on the, the grass. Like the wheels aren't rotating, look, for example. You'd think they might cast her, but they didn't. So yeah, it's, it's pretty good though. I don't fancy my chances accelerating, accelerating out of here and getting enough speed for takeoff, but I'm sure it's possible. This is more the realm of things like a twin otter, but oh, let's do it. Just before I cut, shut, stop the video, let's see if we can get off the ground here. So, flaps to take off position, holding on the wheel brakes, let the engines come up to full speed. I want to see the indicated speed here. easily, hasn't it? Okay, gear up. And we can say goodbye to the Shetlands. Just going to scoot out the window and have a look at them as we fly past. Amazing part of the world, isn't it? Now, I wonder what these hoops are down here.
must be some sort of fishing platform. Shrimps or something, I'm not sure. Anyway. There we go. The Kodiak, the amphibious Kodiak, and the Shetland Islands in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Doesn't get much better, does it? It's good fun. Okay.